Yeah! Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today I am reviewing a brand new mystery box. Um, as you know, I've been getting the Geek Fuel boxes for a few months now and have done some various reviews on those. I'll put those videos at the end if you'd like to see them. I thought I'd try something new just to see how some other boxes compare. I know my my son gets loot crates and really enjoys them, but I wanted to try something different than that. So, what I'm reviewing today is the Super Geek Box. I went ahead and ordered by the month for these because I just wanted to try them out and, like I said, see what else is out there. Um, right out of the chute, when I picked this up at the rental office, at our apartment office, um, I was very underwhelmed. And it's simply because of the size, the initial size of this box. Now this is a Super Geek, or Super Geek box. And this, in comparison, is a Geek Fuel box. So, let's go ahead and see. That's a big dip. But I thought, you know, I will go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt straight out of the chute before I even open it, um, which is only fair. And I thought, you know, maybe it's, it goes along with the old adage, good things come in small packages. Um, so I opened it up. I was wrong. Put on my old guy goggles here. And what the theme is for this month's Super Geek Box is Apocalypse. And uh, we have a number of items. One, two, three, four, five items. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six items. So let's go ahead and go through these. Uh, the first thing we have is an arrow a day keeps the walkers away. This is a magnet right there. Okay. Uh, next thing we have is a little teeny, I guess, poster that says brains and it's got Batman on it as a zombie. You can see I'm really enthused about this so far, right? Okay, the next thing we have is what exactly is this? This is an air freshener. It's the Mario Mushroom air freshener. Then we have a button. See if I can see that without the goggles. Uh, Super Geek Box February 2006 Apocalypse. So basically what it's doing is it's just advertising the box right there. Okay? Little teeny mini button. And then we have, and this looks like a keychain. This is a zipper pull, not a keychain. And it's a ghost. It's the ghost from Mario also. Okay? A little pull that you put on your zipper on your coat or something like that. And then we have a Walking Dead vinyl which I've never seen these before. These are called Zorts. Zorts? Zorbs. D Dorbs, I'm sorry. D-O-R-B-Z. And they're, they're kind of like a version of a pop vinyl, of course. This is Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. Um, and I love the pop vinyls. I think the pop vinyls are awesome. This, on the other hand, I'm not too thrilled with. I don't think it looks very cool. Um, he's, he's smiling as if he doesn't have a care in the world. Is that Daryl? Um, I don't think so. I think Daryl has a lot bigger things on his mind. Okay, finally we come to the t-shirt. Um, in each Super Geek box comes a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt every time. And what I got is this. It's like an 8-bit blood stain on a t-shirt and it says Zombie Annihilation Squad. And so that is the t-shirt, which I'm not real impressed with. Plus, this is like material that you would 
find on like uh, a Hanes undershirt. This is a very thin material. And I'm used to the thicker stuff that, that both uh, Loot Crate and Geek Fuel put in. They're very quality t-shirts, but um, this I'm not impressed with. So I got six items in here. Most of them are very small with the exception of this Walking Dead Daryl Dixon and this very thin t-shirt that if you live in a cold climate, um, you're going to need a thick coat because that ain't going to do it. The Super Geek Box is only a couple dollars less than both the Loot Crates and the Geek Fuels. So it's not a lot of difference in price, a couple bucks less. But as you can tell, I am kind of miffed. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. On the Neurometer, I would give the Super Geek Box, the Super Geek Box, I, I think this should be called the moderate size to small geek box. I don't think there's anything super about this. I would give this an It Sucks. Wow. I rarely give It Sucks. Something has to really irk me um, to get an It Sucks. To me, this just comes off as a bunch of cheap stuff that they just kind of threw in the box with no real passion behind it and called it good. It, it just seems like a money grab to me. I would not recommend the Super Geek Box to anyone. Stick with the Loot Crates, stick with the Geek Fuels, um, and, and I don't know what else is out there. I may try some other stuff. Right now I'm a little afraid to. I'm a little wary of trying anything new, and I may want to just go back and stick with my Geek Fuel, which I've loved. Um, but, uh, wow. So there you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and join me over at Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Old Nerd Reviews and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. Over at the website also, oldnerdreviews.com. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and uh, I'll see you next video. Bye now. Thank you.